Hello, Internet, and welcome back. We're uh, going to give Stanley Parable another try. Gone. And what could it mean? hopefully, Stanley decided to go to the something meeting. Perhaps less terrifying than the last episode will happen. So, here we go. Oh, hit the door. When Stanley came to a set of two open doors, um, he entered the door on his left. Let's. I'm gonna do exactly opposite of what he says every time he says something, and let's see where that gets us. So he told me to go left, so we're going right. This was not the correct way to the meeting room, and Stanley knew it perfectly well. Perhaps he wanted to stop by the employee mm. lounge first, Probably just to try admire all the doors it. on the way, see if we can find anything fun. Ah, yes, truly a room worth admiring. It had really been worth the detour after all, yes, just to had. spend a few moments here in this immaculate, beautifully constructed room. Stanley simply stood here, drinking it all in. What's this say? Fuel. But eager to get back to business, oh, Stanley took to the first open too. door on his left. So he wants to go there, so we're not doing that. I think there's blood stains on the ground. What happened here? Oh gosh. Uh, caution, do not lie. If you are lying right now, stop. Ah, uh, okay. So Stanley was so bad at following nice. directions, it's incredible he wasn't fired years ago. Yep. I don't have the card, I guess. Look, Stanley, I think perhaps we've gotten off on the wrong foot here. Mm -hmm. I'm not your enemy, really, I'm not. I realize that cool. investing in your trust in someone else can be difficult, but the fact is that oh, the story gosh. has been about nothing but you all this time. There's someone you've been neglecting, Stanley. Someone you've forgotten about. Please, stop trying to make every decision by yourself. Now, I'm not asking for me. I'm asking for her. For her? Ooh. This is it, Stanley. Your chance to redeem yourself. To put Sick. your work aside. Urgent. To let Employees her back should into never, your life. Under any circumstance, attempt. Ah, oh, crap. Can't read it. Apparently, someone's been waiting for me. I'm excited. Let's see who this is. door. Oh gosh. That's her, Stanley. You need to be the one to do this. To reach out to her. If you can truly place your faith in another, then pick up the phone. Yeah, it's me. I'm just pulling the bread out of the oven. Oh gosh. All right. Okay, there we go. All right now, Wait. I want you to come in and tell me How all about your day. What? Gotcha. What's oh, going come on? Come on. Did you actually think you had a loving wife? Yes. Did want to commit their life to you? I'm oh. trying to make a point here, Stanley. I'm trying to get you to see something. Come inside. Let me no. show you what's really going no. on here. This is so wrong. No. Sorry, but you're in my story now. Oh gosh. No, this is going to end badly again. No. This is a very sad story about the death of a man named Stanley. No. Gosh, dang it. Good morning. Stanley is quite a boring fellow. He has a job that demands nothing of him, uh, and every button that he pushes why can't you be real? is a reminder of the inconsequential nature of Wait, his existence. Wait, you're seriously having me push buttons? Oh no. Look at him there, pushing and buttons, doing exactly what he's told to do. Them. Now he's pushing a button. Oh, now gosh. he's eating lunch. Now he's going home. Now he's coming back to work. One oh. might even feel sorry for him, oh, except that he's gosh. chosen his life. Press C. Uh, I'm not. No, I'm not pressing this. No. I will rebel. 
I'm not pressing C. Why can't I jump? I I just got an achievement. I can't jump. Um, good to know. But I really want to. I want out of here. <sighs> it's not gonna let me go, is he? Okay. We're pressing C. But in his mind, ah. In his mind, he can go on fantastic adventures. From behind his desk, Stanley dreamed of wild expeditions into the unknown. Fantastic discoveries of new lands. It was wonderful. Christopher and each day that he returned head, to work was a reminder that none of it would ever happen to him. Press 5 to watch. There's not even a TV here. Oh, wait. Yes, there is. Okay, 5. And so he began what? to fantasize about his own job. First, he imagined that one it's day while turning work, into my he office. stepped up from his desk to realize that all of his co-workers, his boss, everyone in the building had suddenly vanished off the face of the earth. The thought excited him terribly. Press zero to spend time with the boys. So he went further. He imagined that he came to two open doors and that he could go through either. At last, choice. It barely even mattered what lay behind each door. The mere thought <sighs> Announcer, that his decisions you and I, would mean something was you almost and I've too got wonderful that we to be resolved. Press seven and prepare dinner. Okay, I'm preparing dinner now. As he wandered through this it's fantasy turning world, into my he began office. to fill it with it. many possible paths and destinations. I knew it. No. Down one path lay an enormous round room with no. monitors and mind controls. And down another was a yellow line that jump. in many directions. I want to jump and down with another my was a game feet. with a baby. And he called it the Stanley Parable. Press F to tell your kids the story. Okay. What's going to change now? It was such a wonderful fantasy, Nothing. and so in his head, he relived it again, and then again, and again, Gosh. over and over, wishing beyond hope that it would never end, that he might always feel this free. Surely there's an answer down here. some new path, must not be? Perhaps if he played just one more time. I love you, wife. I love you. But there is no answer. <laughs> How could there possibly be? No. In reality, all he's doing is pushing the same buttons he always has. Nothing has changed. The longer he spends here, the more invested he gets. The more he forgets I hate which life too, is the real one. Oh, gosh. And I'm trying to tell him this. That in this world, he can never be anything but an observer. That as long as he remains here, he's slowly killing himself. But he won't listen to me. He won't stop. Here, watch this. Stanley, the next time the screen asks you to push a button, do not do it. Okay, not doing it. Wait. I, am I, should I push it? Oh, gosh. Um. Decisions. I somehow think I've got to push it. I don't want to push it. Oh. You see? Can he just not hear me? Oh. How can I tell him in a way that he'll understand Dang that it. every second he remains here, he's electing to kill himself? How can I get him to see what I see? How can I make him look at himself? Press K to question nothing. I question nothing. I suppose I can't. Not in the way I want him to. But I don't make the rules. I simply play to my intended purpose, the same as Stanley. We're not so different, I suppose. I'll try once more to convey all this to him. I'm compelled to. I must. Perhaps, well, maybe this time you'll see. Maybe this time. And I tried again. No. And Stanley pushed a button. And I tried again. And Stanley pushed a button. No. No! Exasperated sigh. Well, yet again, we've uh, started at the same place that we end, so we're going to call this one a day. Um, hope you all liked the video of me dying again. And uh, if you could leave a rating, that's great. Uh, and I guess we'll catch you all next week.